Oh, what you doing, hummy? It's Josh here with the Prop Productions back in UE4 with the seventh Minecraft tutorial. And we're going to talk about setting up the toolbar today. Just a little, just a little, little bar down here when you're playing Minecraft, because if I alt P, I'm just running around, putting blocks down, bro, pressing two, putting dirts, you know what I'm saying? But we need to actually set up the HUD itself. So we got to make a material, right? We're going to grab a material because we're going to put it into a HUD. So we're just going to make our material right now. I'm going to name it TB for toolbar. You know what I'm saying? TB underscore M, hummy. And we're going to make a little, we're going to make a little box, a little box, because we're going to make a toolbar that's going to consist of eight little boxes, right? Because in Minecraft, you got your little thing at the top, you think you're a thing at the bottom, and you can have eight little boxes, put eight little blocks in there. Let's get that moving. So we need a texture coordinate, first thing, okay? We need texture coordinate. And we're going to mask it out. We're going to mask it out all day, every day. So if you just get your mask, but we're going to need, we're going to need a bunch of these masks, right? First, we need one with just the, uh, just the red, okay? And then we also need one with just the G. You know what I'm talking about? Just the, just the G. But then we also need to take the one minus of each one. So take a take a take a type of one minus, okay? And then take another one. Take another one minus right there. But what we're gonna do now is, I want you to take a power. I'm gonna take a little get a little power. You know what I'm talking about get a little power of just that bad baby, okay? And you'll see it. We're gonna set this power to 20, okay? Now you're gonna see what's going on right here. You see that? Now I'm gonna take another power and plug it into the one minus, right? It's gonna be the backwards version, exactly. Let's 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 make some room, honey. Okay, we're making a little box. Make a little box for you. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm gonna sc scroll this up a little bit. Let's get two more of them, right? Let's get two more. Just two more powers, cause we cause cause we got the power. Okay, I've I've had I've had I've had power before. Okay, the point is here we go. Oh, we got to make sure that's plugged in there. And what we have now is four different lines, and we're just gonna add them together. So you can hold the letter A, boom. Hold the letter A, boom. We're gonna plug this one into that one. Plug this one into that one. And then honestly, we're obviously just gonna add the two ads together. You guys probably already knew we were gonna do that. And you can, like I said, you can you can drop your little line here. Make sure live update is on. Whatever you need there. Whatever you can see what's going on there. I'll go ahead and open them up just for fun. Hold A one more again. Plug them in, and we're gonna have a. We're, 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 we, we got a box. We got a box, bro. We made a little box, bro. Now, the thing is, we need to do a couple things with this box, okay? Because this is an inner, this is going to be an interface material, right? It's just going to be a HUD material. Ding! I got me a text message. And there we go. We're going to go right here real quick. We're going to go uh, to uh, surface. We're going to set it to user interface, right? And it, it is going to be translucent a little bit. So change the change the opaque to translucent, and we'll talk about that in a second. But the point is, we have our box. You know what I'm saying? We got our box right there. Now let's do a little work. So first things first is this gradient is a little too much, and we're going to get rid of that by using an if statement, bro. And we're going to need a couple constants. Hold the number one and click. Hold the number one and click. Plug this zero into both of these bad babies, okay? And plug this add that we have into that one and that one. And plug this one into that one. But the one that's plugged into B, I want you to change it to point two, hummy. And I'm saying now, you can go ahead and open that up, and you can see that we got ourselves a box without as much of a gradient. And again, guys, if you can draw this in GIMP or do it the certain way, go ahead. But I'm just showing you that you can do it all inside of Unreal if you need to. Now, we're going to need a couple lerps, right? Because we're going to lerp, we're going to lerp the opacity, and we're also going to lerp the collar. So let's grab a couple collars, and this bad baby is going to be the alpha of both of them. Now, for the opacity, which is this one right here, you know what I'm saying? We could, if you could, you could actually plug this straight into it like this, okay? You could plug it in right there, and you could plug this in right here. We can go ahead and see what we got. You know what I'm talking about? But let's, let's. What we want to do is, I want to fix the opacity first. Let's hold the number one, hold the number one again, and set it to. It's going to be zero to one. Instead, let's set it to 0.5. Wait, 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 wait. Wrong one. Wrong one. Hold up. The 0.5 goes into A. Okay, hummy, calm down. And the zero set. When well, the one here is set to zero, set it to one. Plug it into B. And that'll be the opacity. But what that means is you're going to be able to see a little of inside here because what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple collars. We're going to have a couple. Hold the number three. Hold the number three, right? Have your two collars right here. Plug one into A. Plug one into B. Okay. Now, the top one. Is going to be zero, right? And the bottom is going to be one. Remember, zero is black, one is white. So what I want to do is plug that into final color. Now you see nothing. Well, I want you to set the white one to. Eh, don't don't do that. Do that. Just just click on it and go over here. Set to point. Uh, let's 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 do point seven five. Uh, yeah. If I, I, I got a. Uh, you gotta not. You gotta not have the the num lock on, honey. Okay. You gotta not have the num lock on there, bruh. Number lock. Point seven five. Not not all the way white, but a, but a pale white. And this color, we're gonna make it. Uh, Make kind of a brown, you know what I'm saying? Like a like a little little, little little dark, little dark brown collar. Okay, I like that. I like that. Now the thing is, this right here was set in both of these. 
this would not be see through. That brown would not be see through. But with it a 0.5, that brown, uh, it's a little brown. Okay, it's going to be a little bit of. It's going to be. You're going to be able to see through it a little bit. But there we go. We got ourselves a little box that we can put items inside of. Because you got little blocks right in the in, in the future. We're going to put little blocks inside of our little boxes. You know what I'm saying on top of our little HUD thing. But there we go. We have our material. We've created it. And we're good. And like I said, if you can do it in GIMP or Photoshop or whatever, you're fine. Now let's go over here. Let's go back in the DP folder where we created TP underscore M. We got all our stuff inside here we got our couple materials we got our block we got our we got a first person character i drug him in here we got our our m our minecraft bp which is our big old area here what we're going to need now is to right click go to unit interface and create a widget blueprint now the first thing i want you to do is is create one called master hud okay now this master hud we're going to do it a little different than usual this master hud isn't going to have anything inside of it but but already finished HUDs that we've created in other interfaces. Let me explain that to you. We got that window, we got this window, we got all kind of windows. This is our master HUD. I'm gonna leave it alone. We're not even gonna we're not even gonna toy with it. We're gonna create another HUD. We're gonna make multiple HUDs. But in this tutorial, we're gonna make one right here and it's gonna be called toolbar. So we'll do toolbar widget. Uh -huh. We got a little toolbar widget. Now what's cool is what we do inside of this toolbar widget, we will drag inside of the master HUD once it's finished. And I'll explain why that's useful here soon. So let's jump into the uh, the uh, toolbar HUD bra. And I want you to go down here where it says fill screen and put it to desired on screen, okay? And then I want you to go to the canvas and I want you to delete it. Okay, now we're done. So now we're inside, like I said, we're inside the toolbar, and we're gonna need a couple things. We're gonna need a we're gonna need a we're gonna need a size box, bro. We're gonna need a size box. You're gonna drag it, you can just drag it in here if you want. Boom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and set it the sides. Now, it's gonna be each block is gonna be 80 by 80, but there's gonna be eight of them. So let's do the math. 80 times 80 is 630. Well, 80 times 8, I apologize. So we're gonna do 640 by 80. Yeah. You're probably thinking, bro, it's up there in the top hand corner, honey. You know, it needs to be down here in the middle. No, because this HUD, this is this is something we're gonna drag into a master HUD. So we're gonna put this up in the corner of the screen. It doesn't matter where it's located because this isn't our screen. This isn't the master HUD. This is just what we're doing inside here. So remember that. We got our size box. We're gonna need a couple things. We're gonna need some vertical, we're gonna need some horizontal boxes, bro. We need some of them horizontal boxes. So what we can do is you can drag a horizontal box in here, okay? And once you have that, it's gonna be the exact same size. We'll make sure that that horizontal box is the size of the size box. So we can put size boxes inside of it, honey. You know what I'm talking about? So let's go now and go back to size box. Cause that size box, or that, that horizontal box fit right inside there. Now if I put a size box, Inside of the horizontal box, either one, you can put it in here, you can put it here, it's gonna go inside. You can see what it's done there. Well, we're gonna go here, and this is which we're gonna set this to 80. Boom. Oh God, oh God, make sure you make sure you did it right, honey. So you got eight. Now the reason you can set this to 80, if you're if you're feeling weird, you can go ahead and set that to 80 if you want, whatever you want to do, bro. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Now the thing is, you need we need multiple of those. So if I would actually just right click and duplicate, it's gonna create another size box right where it needs to be. It's the same size. And where it's inside of a horizontal box, it's gotta go right there. So I'm just gonna duplicate it again. And I'm gonna duplicate it again. And I'm gonna duplicate it again, bro. And I'm gonna keep duplicating it. And the thing is, and after I've got eight size boxes, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we've got kind of our little toolbar grid set up here, bro. Okay. Now here's what we could do. We could go ahead and just grab images. And I'm gonna explain this to you. This is very important. We could go ahead and just go straight to image. Oh God. Oh 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 God. Okay, image. And I could drag it in here. And then go back here and set it to be our little TBM material we created, which is the toolbar material, which is right here. Okay, But if we don't add an overlay first, we're not going to be able to put other or textures or materials or images on top of those. So we actually need to put an overlay in every one of these boxes. And you're like, brah, calm yourself. I'm not going to, bro. I'm not going to. I'm not going to calm myself. You gotta have overlay, bro. You wanna be able to put the box image in there, but after you put the box image in there, you wanna be able to put blocks in there later. We're not gonna do that today, but we gotta do that sometime, right? You know what I'm saying? Image, yeah. Let's, oh, 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 okay, okay, image, yeah. Now the thing is, I'm gonna drag an image and put it in top of this overlay. Now you're gonna immediately see a little bit of the problem. You got, you, 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 need, to, you need to set up the size. So if you actually have the image selected, you can go over here to where it says image and you can put it on box, okay? And then not only that, you can sit, you, there's, well, there's, there's different ones. You can set the brush, box, whatever you want. But what you wanna do is regardless of which one that is, make sure the image is selected. You can go here like this. 
and then and then, and then fill it up like that. And personally, I think it's probably best if it's just set to image. Just leave it on image. But like I said, if it's set like this, it's going to be weird. Make sure it's full. And then what I can do now, I'll save it. I can, you got the brush here, right? You got the brush down and asking for an image. I can go to the TBM, right, homie? And put just as if it's selected, hit the hit the arrow, and we got ourselves a little box, homie. I'm talking about. So I'm grabbing another image. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna do the same thing. Set it here and here, and hit the arrow, and boom, and grab another image, and I'm gonna put it in here. And you guys need to go ahead and do this eight times. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You can handle it. You can handle it. Just put them in there. Press the two buttons, size, and press the arrow. Make sure you got the TBM selected. So go ahead and get that done eight times. Okay, okay, bro. We got a little, little toolbar up there, right? I mean, that's that's it's not bad. It's 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 even looking. And again, I know it's in the top left hand corner of the screen. Now, I couldn't advise more that you go ahead and name your images. So we need to do that now. Each image we're gonna name. So I'm gonna name the first one T1 for tool one because this isn't actually the tool you're using. It's the tool space. And you're going to need that because we're going to toy with it later. So go through and name each one tool, T1, T2, or, or actually you can name it whatever you want, but that's what I'm going to name out. So T1, T2, and I'm going to go all the way down here and do this really quick with all eight images. Boom. So I've got all my named here. And like I said, you got a lot of stuff going on. You got your overlays, you got your size boxes, you got your images. I know it's a little confusing. You're like, oh God, oh, oh no, but hey, just check it out. Watch what we're going to do now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open the master HUD back up. And again, I've got that bad baby there. And what we're going to do is check this out. We're going to add into the canvas panel. I'm going to go down here. You can, you'll see a user created right here. You see that? And you'll have a couple of these widgets, right? The widget we just created, toolbar widget, can be dragged in here like this. Snap. You see what I just did there, hummy? You see what I just did there, bro? Now, let's straighten it up. Let's make sure it's on the lines there. You can see this one's right over the line. You can zoom way in. Make sure it's right on the line. Make sure it's, you know, like I said, it's right on the line. It's evened up. It's close to the bottom of the screen. Adjust that how you want. Make sure you go to the anchor and set it to be on the bottom. Okay, so there we go. Now, see how awesome that was. We, inside of our master HUD that we opened, we just have one component or one variable, one, I don't know what you would call that, one HUD object. That's basically this entire HUD we just put together and boom, it's just, it, it, it's already neatly put together. It All it takes is one anchor. You didn't have to do a bunch of nonsense. We didn't do any, not, we didn't do any anchoring up here because we set it to desired fit to screen. We got rid of the canvas. So this is a really quick way and a really clean way of keeping your HUD looking good and clean and just making a master HUD and making all kind of little HUDs and putting all the little HUDs in top, inside of your big HUD and blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Now, all we need to do is we can't see the HUD, homie. We can't see the HUD. We got to go into the first person character, and you know how we do. Let's get that event. Let's, let's, let's get that event begin play, bro. And, and we, we, need to, uh, we need to get that, and we need to grab. We need to create a widget, right? We need to create widget. And we're gonna, what we're going to do is there's a couple of different ways you can do it, but I, I, we need to grab the master HUD, right? Master HUD, boom, promote it, right-click, promote it to a variable. We'll even name it master HUD, homie, okay? And then we're going to drag a line from that and type in add, and we'll see add to viewport, and boom. Now we're done. That's it. I save it. I, I compile it. I go back here. I jump into the game. I Alt-P, and I got my little toolbar down there, bro. Oh! Now, the point is, you got your little toolbar. Like I said, if you want it to go down a little further, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I like where it's at, but it needs to come down a little bit, make sure it's still lined up real nice. I think I'm going to put it right there on those bottom lines there. You know, it's 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 lined up real nice. I got the, 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 the anchor there, okay? And I think that's good. I like it right there. Yeah, that's it. That, that That is it. I think in Minecraft, it's actually like touching the bottom of the screen, but I ain't trying to do that. I mean, ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, so now the thing is, the reason we anchor, and I hope you guys understand this, it's this simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go out of the full screen mode, and I'm going to make my screen real tiny like this. Now, you're thinking, if I'm pressing the game, sorry, if I'm pressing the, pressing the play button and I play the game, if I press F11 and go full screen, the HUD might mess up, but where it's anchored, when I F11, you can see that the, 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 the toolbar stayed in place, and where we made it all in one interface, shut up, okay? Shut up. My phone. But anyway, the point is where we made it in an interface and then we drug it into a master HUD, we only have that one anchor. So look how smooth of a transition that is. So no matter what size your resolution is, whether you're playing this on a phone, which God, I hope you don't, and or whether you do or not, your, 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 your resolution, the, the way your HUD is presented on the screen should always look right based off your anchoring and the fact that we made everything, I'm, ex ex I'm, I'm exiting now, sorry, go back in the toolbar widget, where we did everything in here, all that, and this drug one big 
user. See, you can see user created. I grabbed the toolbar, boom, plugged it in. Think, just think about that, man. Just think about how neat it is. You, you, know, you, you don't have to worry about any type of resolution issues because everybody knows that every game you make that you put, it, put out, I'm going to play it in 4K, and the guy beside me is going to play it on his tablet, and the other guy's going to play it in 1080, and the other guy's monitor's messed up, so he can only run in 600 by 900 and 720, and some people are old. And, you know, I mean, it's just, you just got to be prepared. So you want to make sure that no matter the, the, the size of the screen, that we can see, we, that, that we can, that you can see the toolbar. Now let's quickly talk about the material before we're done. We'll see that you have little white boxes, but as you can tell, if you look at the toolbar where we made the little brown, little brown translucent, it kind of just it adds a little love, adds a little love to the game, bro. Because we got our boxes, but you can still see through them a little bit. But it still has, you know, its look down there. It looks like it's, you know, it's it's got a it's got a different color gradient than the rest of the world. So yeah, but there you go, guys. Quick toolbar setup. You know, just set up the toolbar. In the next tutorial, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the one and two buttons because right now we have it set to be one and two if you press one or two we can switch we need to get that working based off of the mouse wheel we need the mouse wheel to be able to scroll through these eight toolbar little boxes we have and pick one and based off which one it's picked it sets whatever block we have assigned to it so we're going to start getting the toolbar selection set up on the next tutorial bra and we'll be coming here in a few days we're going to stick in minecraft for a little while guys anyway guys hope you learned a little something with the hud here a uh, uh, good umg tricks if, if, if anything take something from the fact that you can make little little widgets here and then create a master widget and put all your little widgets inside little gidget gadgets bro okay guys thanks for watching i love you miss you josh here with the proud productions hope you learned a little something like i just said um go subscribe to the youtube channel we got all kind of tutorials almost 1500 subscribers over 150 videos of nonsense and 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 all kind of learning and music and video games and prototypes and videos and just everything man all day um, but yeah, guys, hit us up on Facebook too, the Pride Productions. Go support us. All the links are in the description for our SoundCloud, our Bandcamp. We got two EPs out. The artist Deprived. That's who we are. Capital D at the beginning, Capital D at the end. Check out some of that music, bro. Buy it. Get some free. We we release some royalty free music that you can use in your games on our SoundCloud. Links in the description, man. Go check them out. If anything works for you, download it, use it, and don't and you give us credits if you like. Or give us credit if you'd like to. But if not, hey, man, it's it's yours. It's yours to use. Have fun with it. We try to release music like that regularly. We got a another track coming royalty free for you guys all kind of minecraft stuff coming and another ep in the works and another prototype because we always doing big things over here bro spread the word baby spread the word to Pride productions all day every day love you miss you peace